Всем привет, my name is Vika, I'm very glad to see you on my channel. As you probably can see or maybe hear, I'm in a train and we are in a train as a family and we are taking 29 hours train ride. I was a little bit wrong in my previous videos, so it's 29 hours. We are going from Tula to Krasnodar. Um, I'll put a map here. We are going from central Russia to the south of Russia and it's not that long actually it's about uh, 1170 kilometers so it's about 13 hours on a car or something like that but train is very slow so it's not 29 hours for now i wanted to talk a little bit about the train itself so in russia we have uh, three main types of uh, trains so for a long uh, for a long trip uh, we have what we call Platzkart. There are four seats in the... something like a contentment, I think it's called like that. Uh, but it's without a door, so it's an open space. And we also have two seats on the side of the corridor. I'll put some pictures here so you can understand what I'm talking about. It's about so it's about six people on the unit, but everything is open. like. You see all the people when you walk <laughs> on the corridor. We used to travel like that a lot when my husband and I were like teenagers or students. Um, it's a fun way when you're alone or if, as a couple, but not like with kids. The second option is uh, the four seats unit, like contentment. So it has no seats on the sides of the corridor and every contentment is, uh, has a door, it's closed, so it's a separate unit, but four people. We are going uh, on a little bit like the next uh, level when it's two people in the unit. So here is the door with a mirror. Um, and my, I'm in my train look. <laughs> I have my sneakers on, leggings and a big t-shirt. Uh, so basically that's how the compartment uh, looks. I love the window. This is the seat that my husband made as a sofa. This is the seat where I sp sleep with Agatha. So yeah, this is uh, the table. Here are some sockets for charging here and there. And here also. And here is also some of our things and under the seats. Um, the view is beautiful. We have сырники, and we have запеканка. <laughs> I think it's very Russian <laughs> breakfast. <laughs> you can see uh, how we move. We can see that. <laughs> this is a very traditional uh, Russian uh, train style of cups. Like this is this is the glass. This is the pretty glass that goes into that. Uh, we call it подстаканник. I don't know the English word, but this is like a very traditional thing. They um, keep it like that, I don't know, since the ancient times. <laughs> so yeah, everybody drinks tea like that in, in trains. <laughs> Ты вот так кушаешь блинчик, а вот так внутри. Тут есть уточка у мальчика. Да, да. Уточка. Да, да. И он ее поливает, да, моет ее? Mm. Моет.
had a nap and it's about 2 p.m. So we are we want to eat some lunch, but we failed with our food situation like completely because we thought that in this train they have like a cafe, cafe um, in the train because many trains do have that and I also thought that it would be nice to show you the cafe and to eat in the cafe because I have never eaten the train, uh, the like train food. <laughs> they usually serve like lunches and dinners, but we didn't check it and it appeared that there is no cafe in this particular train. And we didn't take our food with us. Usually when there is no cafe, people just take their food with them. It's very typical to bring some like boiled eggs, cucumbers, fried chicken, like something that uh, can last a little longer. The train is passing by. We are uh, on the train station and we are going to stay here for 40 minutes. So uh, my husband went out uh, to check if there is some sort of cafe on the station because we took a lot of snacks like for Agatha we took some fruits and things like that but we didn't take like the real food <laughs> because we thought that there is a cafe well I don't worry about that much because you always can find food somewhere but still it's like a little bit extra struggle <laughs> you know you I always say to myself that we should always check everything not as, just assume something but check and we always forget to check something and it appeared to be like not how we thought it would so yeah uh, i want to go outside too and to show you a little bit the station it's for blind people for people who can't see but can feel where to walk? Agatha got a present from uh, the train conductor, uh, the one that is. Oh, Basley! Show us that, it says Russian Railways. Uh, I don't know if it's worth mentioning, but but we have only one um, train company, like railway company, uh, that is called um, Russian Railways, and it is fully state-owned. So probably that's why it's the only one that is that exists in Russia. Так закрыла папу. Открывать будешь папу? Открывай папу. Вот так. So for those of you who asked what to do for 29 hours in a train, you can play board games, you can eat, you can sleep, you can read, <laughs> you can watch movies, but this is not our situation because we forgot to download any movies.
Agatha met uh, a four-year-old girl and they have been playing together for, I don't know, an hour and a half. <laughs> well, I mean, we participate in the playing, <laughs> both me and Tola, but it's still easier than entertain her by ourselves only. I remember that we have one cartoon on Apple TV downloaded <laughs> and I'm trying to um, get internet connection to download Apple TV because we don't have it on our iPad so I'm trying my best <laughs> I'm tired, <laughs> like very tired. It's beautiful here. So I told you before that Agatha is very sociable. Right now she is acquainted with every single person in our car, uh, train car, uh, train unit. Um, she has been in all of the compartments and she has been playing with all the kids that are, we have two kids here and like with everybody, <laughs> everybody. She has been playing with the conductor uh, a lot. She's very nice and she's very friendly to Agatha. So Agatha liked her a lot and she has been playing with her a lot and like with everybody, <laughs> with every single person here. Agatha have been playing or talking or like doing some kind of interaction. So yeah, it's a lot of fun <laughs> going on the train. <laughs> well, actually I like our trip. We are quite tired because you have to like entertain her and you have to follow her everywhere. And she, she j just doesn't sit on one place she's running around all the time and talking with everybody so you have to be with her all the time and do all of that stuff so it's kind of tiring emotionally and physically but uh still i love our trip i think it was a very nice adventure i don't think it's like it was very complicated it was kind of tiring <laughs> in some moments it's about 6 30 p.m and we're coming uh, to Krasnodar at 4 a.m. So we still have some time left. But as soon as Agatha falls asleep and it would happen about 8, 9 p.m. So very soon, this trip would be just like go smoothly. <laughs> Since that moment, we'll just chill and eat some tasty snacks and do some fun. So yeah. <laughs> Good item. Preparing for the evening and for sleeping. Okay, guys, here is the downside of taking a train. Um, it's about half past 8 p.m. And usually at this time, Agatha is uh, already sleepy. But right now, she doesn't want to go to sleep. But at the same time, she's very, you know, tired and just cries because of everything. So we are trying to entertain her a little bit and at the same time make her slowly go to sleep. But it's kind of complicated. I think for the last hour we've been struggling with that. So I hope she'll fall asleep soon because we are both very tired. <laughs> As I said, we have uh, something very traditional for the train. It is this lapsha. 
it's called Rolton. Uh, we have another from another company that is called the Chirac also. It's here. And it is very unhealthy but very spicy and tasty stuff. So guys, uh, we came home and I wanted to say thank you a lot for watching and thank you for being with us uh, during this trip. I hope you liked uh, the trip itself, the train and uh, all the other things. <laughs> so I hope to see you in my next video. Bye bye.